What's up guys? Hope everyone's having a good week. Another random car video. Plus I want to try out my new little car phone mount thingy. So it gives me an excuse to do that. Um, most of these videos I make are just stuff that pops in my head. I think it might benefit somebody. And frankly, a lot of time it's reminders for myself to stuff that uh, I deal with and kind of have to remind myself. I know everyone goes through a lot of the same things, but anyhow, this week's been kind of a, well, this week's been a shit storm. You know, one of those things starts off with a big negative and then all the little things kind of pile on, kind of like a little kid bully holding you down and poking you in the forehead and just drive you insane. So, not gonna lie, threw crushed up through a can across the room yesterday, screamed a couple times, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, it happens. You gotta get it out, try to regroup as quick as you can, not let it, not dwell. But anyhow, my point is uh, perspective, you know, just keeping things in perspective. And this isn't one of those, you know, me saying, hey, it could always be worse because yeah, that saying's true. I think it's useful. I think it's kind of ridiculous at times, though. It's like two people get hit by a car, and yeah, and one gets backed over again after he's hit. Well, guess what? I mean, the guy that didn't get backed over, that still sucks, you know? So it's not like you can go through hard stuff, and you can say, yeah, it can always be worse. If that helps you, that's great. But if not, you know, just understand that, yeah, there's, it could always be worse. It's, you could always one-up it, but that's not really the point. Uh, the point is that at the end of the day, when things go wrong, uh, you still have to, you still have to own up to, you know, own up to what you're doing. You still have to be an adult. You still have to get things done. Uh, especially if you're, if you're in a role where people rely on you, maybe you're, maybe you're a parent, maybe you're a, just a spouse, maybe you just, you're a coach like me, you know, I've got a, the issue revolved around business stuff. So, I can't let it falter, you know, I have people that rely on me, people I still have to uh, provide service to, so, you know, there's people that count on you, you have to get stuff done, you have to, um, and even with that, obviously, you don't want to throw a pity party, you know, that's not, it's not going to do you any good, I feel like people shift towards the negative a lot, I always talk about uh, perspective and reacting with logic and not emotion, evaluating your situation, and react accordingly and so on and so forth you know, I've heard me talk about that a million times so it's not really not really going to go into that but I do I do want to say that I think situations like that do provide some advantages you know when you when you do have a bad week or when something happens I always call it my stressometer I feel like what used to be a 10 on my stressometer is now a one you know if anyone that owns a business or anyone that's had big life changes has had a high role in a company has had, uh, I don't have children. I know people that have maybe several small children at once that might be really high stressful situation. Anything that really tests you a lot more than you've ever been tested before. Maybe it's, uh, you have some kind of sickness, injury, anything. It could be literally anything. Uh, all of those things really build fortitude and really build you as a character for later on in your life. And there is a blessing in that. It's, it obviously is very hard at the time, and uh, bear with me going on railroad tracks, it's going to be bouncy, but um, it's obviously hard at the time, but it's not, you know, it does, it does provide some advantage later on, um, because, you know, events later in life are, are just not going to be, not going to be as hard as they, as they would have, uh, you're going to, you're going to get through things a lot easier with better perspective, so there is that advantage, and like I said, it just it just builds fortitude. So um, try to see the advantage in things. Try to have good perspective. Try not to dwell. If you have to scream, if you have to put your face in a pillow, if you have to, God, fuck, whatever you got to do, punch a heavy bag or throw something or just, you know, try not to break anything, whatever, whatever it is, let the stress dissipate as quickly as possible. We're human. It's not really a good idea to bottle things up, but at the same time, you don't want to let it dwell. Get it in, get it out, get on with your day, get done what you have to get done, and uh, don't don't feel sorry for yourself. So, I hope everyone's having a good week. If you are having a stressful week, life's trying to kick you in the dick. You know, just do what you.
you can do, keep moving forward.